Good morning. Today we are going to look at doing an eBay listing on a new item. So um, today we're just going to look at putting on a backpack. So if you uh, go in here to October and go to, I, I would suggest if we've listed these things before that you would go offer saved listing. So you type in here saved and type in the word backpack to find an existing backpack <coughs> and we'll just copy this icebreaker um, yeah actually we're going to do a hydration backpack sorry hydration and we'll copy this tie pan here my computer wants to work. Okay so the most important thing to start with here is the title. So um, I would suggest with the title you know we start with the supplier. Now in this case the one that we're going to load today is the Caribbean. Then we, what, we go with the model. So the model of the backpack that we're going to load today is the Nuke. Um, and the literage now I think this is a 1.5 litre um, and it, and then you say here the hydration backpack bag so in the title it's quite important to think about how somebody might search for that and try to put in there as many keywords as possible without going overboard um, the other thing that when people search for a hydration pack that they might be looking for a camelback which is just a term they use, a generic term that they might use to look for a hydration pack. Um, and then in this case the colour and the colour in this case is high vis orange. So if you can have a look at that title and just be aware that when you put a title in that it is has as many keywords as possible. We still have 10 characters left here that we could fill, but there's no point. I think we've described that fairly well, that actual backpack. So the next section here to look at is the categories that we've used, and obviously the category there uh, is, is the right category. This here, the item condition, well, we always sell new items, so that should be a new item. The next thing to check for is the eBay store category and I think we have, yeah, we don't have one for hydration so backpacks would be the next best thing. Then we come to the title of, oh sorry, the description of the, um, the actual backpack. So as you can see here, we've kind of given it, you know, you kind of have to be the seller to the buyer. So the buyer's never seen this product. And this little blurb here, you know, you probably try and, and solve some problems for them. So, you know, in this instance, if you're out on a day on the trial on the dirt bike, well, this backpack's going to be the backpack that you want. It's got plenty of cargo space, so it, it describes how much space is inside the pack. Um, and it's all purpose. So we had this backpack loaded here, or Sharon loaded this on our website. So... We're just going to go and copy the features from that particular backpack and bring it over here for the features in this one. So the features, we'll just delete the features of that other one. Had a good lot of features that bag. And we'll paste the features of this pack in here. Now I also like to get rid of these kind of things because that just smacks of the fact that you've copied it from somewhere. So now I would kind of describe this for so anything that's high vis is something where you need to you know um, like for safety. So if safety is your key issue or actually if visibility 
visibility is your main issue, then this is the pack for you. Ideal for road workers, miners and bike riders to be seen at all times. So we're actually, we're not saying too much, but we're actually solving the problems for people that they may have. So um, we've already put this thing in here. Just be careful to make sure that you take out all the other information from the other listings. So um, this particular thing, we, actually that's an old. The other thing I always want to do is make sure we say, um, visit our eBay store or use a link, add me to your favourite sellers. Let's get rid of all this stuff from all the Black Wolf stuff that was on here before. Just going to leave a bit of that. Make sure we get rid of all these things. Yeah, I'm, I'd rather the listing take you know, twice as long to do and we get the listing right, then, you know, we have to go back and amend it. So the next important thing is the pictures. So we will remove all those pictures um, and we should go, we should be able to go back and get a picture of that nuke, uh, which I haven't got saved. So bear with me. I'm just going to go to my Dropbox list and try and find that picture. Hopefully I can pause this while I do that. I don't think I can pause it. Can I hit pause? Okay, so we go to find the picture. Sorry, I had to go and download that halfway through. I should have been better prepared. Um, now in October, if that picture doesn't exist, you can actually upload it right from here um, in the upload button. And the obviously I keep all my my things in fairly good folders so that I can find the things easily. Um, and most importantly, remember to name your images so that at later time you need to find them, that they can actually be found. So go down, you select that image, then go add. And remember it down here to categorise the images too. So in this one we'll just tap that camping tents and upload that image. They have a really good image, these Caribbean ones. So remember here if you've chose that we that our um, template chooses a gallery image so you've also got to remember to choose that same image as the gallery image. Um, the next the next thing is the price and we have done this backpack at $79. Um, and the next thing is the items or the quantity that we've got. Now, I think the best way to describe the quantity that we have is not what we physically have in our shop, unless unless that is something that we can't get again. So if we've got a constant supply of the item, then let's just put in five or ten or whatever the case may be, because we can always get these items all the time. So. Make sure that this template is the Action Bike and Ski template. And the only other thing that you have to try and remember here is to ensure that this shipping tool has um, the one day handle time. So if it, um, just go in and maximise that. And you can see this one doesn't. So it's quite important that that shipping time, like that handling time is one day. So make sure that that is actually on one day. And the next thing to check is the checkout here. And this exchange policy or this return policy 
Um, there is an actual profile in here for a 60 day exchange and all of our items should have 60 day exchange. So if you load that profile, it will overwrite the current, the current profile there and change all those things. So you'll notice here it'll put something in the box down there when it's loaded. So if that profile actually fills in a couple of different boxes here so always ensure that that profile is the 60 day return profile and we've pretty much done that listing so that listing is, is done we post it to eBay and while my computer thinks about it the last little thing we've got to remember after we have posted that is to go over to eBay and go back into the active items and I have been I've been mucking around with these active items this morning and I've got them filed differently so you want to find you want to normally we have it by the time left it's it's ordered by the time that's left um, and obviously this is going by the shortest time we want to go by the longest time so we'll just resort that by clicking on the time left and the arrow will go from an up arrow to a down arrow so and here's our listing here so the, the last thing that we've got to remember here is to put the custom label number on it so in this instance the code number or the label is 6324 which is the item number um, that looks like it's it for today. Hope that's helped.